Hello and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead with the Eurist Simple Balls, a male baseball ba 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 baseball player who is an albino junk food intolerant uh, baseball player. So, I mean, as you can see, maybe from the message log, uh, I tried to eat some cereal. Uh, you can't eat cereal. Yuck, and how can anybody eat this stuff? So, according to this game, cereal is junk food. Uh, a box of cornflakes. They're not that good, but it beats nothing. Cornflakes aren't junk food. I mean, just plain, ordinary cornflakes. They have, uh, have plenty of fiber and not much sugar. Depends which brand you buy, really. So I think this uh, umbrella works by wielding it. So, ooh, lots of wildlife outside. So let's have a look. Let's just wander around. It is daytime. And yeah, we are not getting burnt by the sun. So we're not entirely restricted to. Oh no, that's a poppy flower. We're not entirely restricted to nighttime travel. So what is this here? From the northwest, you hear a sibilant rat rattling sound. So that's a rattlesnake then. I probably don't want to attack it. I mean, I'm sure I could club it to death with my baseball bat, but... Yeah, so I'm going to see what's uh, the north end of this town today. And we have to find a means of... Ooh, well, I was going to say feeding and drinking ourselves. But uh, we found a lot of blueberries. I think my neighbor might be about to drill something. So hopefully not. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's eat some of those. Nom 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 nom. Uh, yes, I do kind of miss the Dwarf Fortress way of doing the inventory. Well, the thing at the top is always A. It would solve the whole 25 items thing. Alright, so I can keep eating these until I'm full, I suppose. They do make me a little bit less thirsty, so that's good. Right, let's see what kind of buildings are in this town, because I really didn't explore it that much before uh, the sudden started getting to me. We could just find out what these things are. I believe they're corpses with some items that don't have stuff on them. Yeah, so we got a fitted lab coat there. Might be cool. Lots of fitted clothes. So, and also a CBM as well. I yeah, I mean we'll mark this place on the map. Science C corpses. CBMs. But I mean we're not gonna touch them right now because we're just we'll destroy ourselves. I'll definitely grab the science ID card though, that's great. Uh the purifier is actually useful as well, but especially considering I do plan on mutating myself at some point. Uh, fitting hiking boots. They probably fit better than my combat boots. What kind of protection is it? 12 and 12? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're just not as good as my combat boots, though. Even remotely. So, I think I'll stick with these. Aha! Cargo pants that fit. Again, they're not really as good as the army pants, but... Uh, I'll see if I can put them on, yes, without too much leg encumbrance, yeah, see, two leg encumbrance, that means everything just costs more, running and everything, so, uh, let's get rid of those, let's throw them away, what else have we got, da -da 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 -da. clean water, yes, definitely need that, it's, ooh, a survivor's map? Uh, I suppose I have to read that rather than activate it, no? I guess maybe I do need to activate it. You add roads and possible supply points to your map. Oh my word, look at this. Oh lord. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Can I move this map a bit faster? I can't. Could do with a, a shift and click to move it a bit faster. So yeah, this is just, that's marked uh, gas stations, gun stores, pharmacies, grocery stores, uh, for a very, very huge distance. Look at the size of this town up here, though. That's all one town. 
Holy crap. So yeah, these military sub sub blah, surplus stores are probably the way to go. What's up here? Jesus Christ, this has just added an enormous amount of stuff to my map. It really has. Let's come back down here and see what's down to the southwest. See, that looks like a bit more of a manageable town. And, yeah, the, in this town here, there's two farm, three pharmacies, a military surplus store, and a couple of gas stations. But, yeah, I mean, this shit here is just huge. It goes on for miles and miles. Wowzers. Right, uh... I think we'll probably... I think I've looted this grocery store, haven't I? Was it this one down here? No, I think it was that one. So I remember going to the sporting goods store immediately afterwards. Basic power armor helmet. Of course, that's just lying around. Uh, another ID card. Anti-glare compensators. You mean... Sunglasses. <laughs> Basically. Okay, fair enough. Uh, ooh, a goo canister. Those are quite useful. And fungicide. Ah, running out of space. Teleporter. Sweatshirt, bra. Yeah, I mean, I might grab a piece of random clothing from here. I'm gonna put on one of these lab coats, but yeah, I try to, I try to repair a piece of my clothing. The army pants, you can see that they're ripped, or torn actually, because I damaged them twice. So yeah, that's given us a, a decent amount of storage now. It probably is ugh, four encumbrance on my torso. Am I wearing... Right, I'm wearing the army jacket, which has one encumbrance. And the runner pack has zero. And... Right, the Kevlar vest, that's... Yeah, all those layers and all those things... Oh... Do I want... Do I need the Kevlar vest? I mean, it does, uh, it does have a very good protection. But, I mean, minus four to my dodge chance and melee skill. It just... No. No, we're gonna take off the Kevlar vest. And we'll drop it. I'll remember where it is, because it's under a, a map marker. And another glass glass flask of purifier, which I won't pick up just yet. It will definitely be... I should have dropped those books before I came out here, but never mind. Hopefully the grocery store has some shopping carts knocking around. Oh my word. There's just a little army of cats over here. Hello, kitties. Uh, so what is that? A doctor's office? Oh, we'll head towards that then. Come on, please don't crash. Ooh, that, uh... I definitely froze up for a second there. And it wasn't safe mode. It was before safe mode came on. Uh... Where are these zombies? Ah, I see them. So they're to the north there. Alright, there's something in this car as well. Uh, decayed zombie, grabber zombies, and cats. That's what we can see right now. Let's see what's in here. Examine vehicle. Ah, we can do that while on board now. Guess items. Uh, flashlights, already got one. And a crowbar. Well, I'll grab that. But I might end up dropping it for more important stuff at some point. Uh... Grab a zombie. Still not seeing... Right, we've got a dog following us. Cats, protect me! Yeah, I've seen cats go up against dogs. Cats win, man. Uh, right, we'll try and scoot our way into the back here. Right, what have we got in here then? Any drugs? No, scissors and plastic bag. What is that there? A sink. Right, I suppose that makes sense. It is an office, but... It is a doctor's office. Aha, bandages. I have to go into this room to get them, though, and I might get trapped. Yeah, the thing about this tile set is I can see whether a locker has stuff inside, even if it's uh, 
Im impassable by eyes. What's that? <laughs> Opaque, I think that's what the word I was looking for. So there's something inside that desk, but I don't know what it is. And I have zombies following me. Uh, those are definitely toilets. Refrigerator. Uh, right, so I'm going to try and open this door. An alarm sounds well. <laughs> Fuck. It's alright, we can close the door behind it. Uh, right, what have we got? A shrieker zombie. Well, as if the alarm wasn't enough. What is this thing? Is that a little bicycle? Small electric scooter. Ah, uh, the motor is broken. Also the handle. I really wouldn't want to ride a bike without a handle, i got to say. So yeah, I don't know if that alarm is still going off. But uh, we still don't have any particularly dangerous zombie-type enemies here. I mean, they're all dangerous, but... Alright, which one is this? That's an office. And the door's locked. Well, we'll duck around this office and try and lose some people. A tough zombie. I see you to the south there. A little hash. Ignoring it. Oh, zombie brute. And a skeletal dog. Those things worry me. So, hold on. Where's the zombie brute? To the east? Let's find out exactly where. There he is. In the middle of the road. Okay, we're quite probably far enough away that he hasn't spotted me yet. So we want to go in the opposite direction of where he is. And there's the skeletal dog. So, you know, uh, yeah, duck around this tough zombie. Uh, yep. And I'll we'll try and get it stuck on a car somewhere, I suppose. Alright, so I can see that skeletal dog running after me really, really fast. I can tell what it is, even though there's no tile, because uh, it's way, way faster than everything else. I don't suppose this car works, does it? Uh, no. Max speed, or oh, safe speed, zero miles per hour. Nope. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm just drinking some tea. Right, you are now perpetually stuck on the car because you have no pathfinding. Well done. What is that? Oh, it's a bank. Shall I go rob a bank? There's absolute. Oh, okay, the, the dog got unstuck. Nope. Ah, crap. I wish there was uh, something in my inventory that I could just... The dog hits the tough zombie. Yes! Go dog! Alright, let's try and kill this skeletal dog. Ah, crap. See, I'm hitting it with my bloody umbrella. I don't suppose this does much damage, does it? No. Bash one, cut zero. So we're going to have to pull out our baseball bat and... Ball uh, yeah, just twat it. The sunlight is really irritating. Am I doing... Nope, I am missing it. Uh, what is my encumbrance like? Yeah, I do still have two on my torso. So... Yeah, I mean... There we go. We got it. So yeah, that's that's gonna be basically nullifying my melee skill. Well, the bank's open. Uh, let's see what you got inside. Zombie cop. Zombie dog, I can see to the northeast. Don't know where that came from. That wasn't there before. Right, so there is no back door here, but there is a back window at least. Wow, you just walked through those windows like they weren't there, didn't you? Well, I'm not going to be able to hack that computer, so out we go. What is that over there? I think that's a bat, because it's moving away from me. Fleeing! Flee, bat, flee! Alright, electronic store and a restaurant. Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. And it's like uh, going shopping when there's nobody else left in the world. I should probably just head to that pharmacy, but there's so many horrible things in the way that it would just be bad news. Gas stations really don't have anything I could use at the moment. 
I mean, once I get a car, I'll obviously need them for gas, but with, uh, oh shit, I need to re-wield my umbrella before I start racking up loads of pain. But yeah, the gas stations tend to be just full of junk food, which, yeah, I can't risk eating anymore. It just, it makes my character just incapable of doing anything. So, alright, so that's the office building I hit on the first day. There's a zombie inside that car. Hello. Nope. Goodbye. Come on, let me past. I, I should just turn safe mode off. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. The police car's headlight is destroyed. You vandals! I hope they throw the book at you. So, uh... Yeah, we'll head to this grocery store. Or attempt to, anyway. And... Zombie soldiers... They're not too bad. A zombie necromancer. They're only really a problem if you're killing zombies, which I'm not. I'm trying to avoid them. I'll kill them if I have to, but... So is that them there? Because that looks like... Yep, that's the zombie necromancer. It's ignoring me anyway, so... A twisted mockery of the human form, emaciated with jet black skin and glowing red eyes. It is somehow painful to look at, awakening fears deep within your psyche, and even the air around it seems more sinister. Well, okay. The air seems left hand. Oh my god, a zombie hulk. Uh, shut down everything. <laughs> oh my god, that's probably going to kill me. A human body now swollen to the size of six men with arms as wide as a trash can. Yeah, that's always oh, coming after me. <laughs> no, I don't want to die. I want to live. Uh, it's coming around the corner. It's around the corner. It's faster than me, I think. Uh, I may just be able to... Uh, screw you, zombie child. Get a hit in if you dare. I'm just running away. Right. I'm just going to duck through this house and hope that it breaks the line of sight enough for it to not come after me. But, um, zombie hulk. Just in case I ever feel like coming back to this part of town. Or why I ever would. Uh, after seeing a zombie hulk, I don't know, but yeah. And yeah, you know, I've got time to stop and eat some strawberries as well, you know. Of course I have. Okay, so, right, to the south there be Triffids, which might be alright actually. Triffids really, I mean, they have the strength in numbers thing, so you know, there's that, but they're also quite tasty and very edible, so uh, I might just have a good look with them. Uh, I'm running right towards zombies, that's not particularly good luck. Where is this vine beast? Uh, nope. It is right there. Okay, that's really well sort of camouflaged, I guess, against this tile set. It's quite cool, actually. Another zombie necromancer. What's in there? Uh, Prozac. That would actually be quite useful, <laughs> I've got to say, with this guy. And his bloody mood swings about eating a few potato chips. Yeah, that's going to be useful. Uh, what have I got in here as well? Clean water. He'll eat booze. Oh, we got a banana as well. Let's let's scram the banana. Nom 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 nom. Salt water. Condensed milk. Yeah, I do kind of like that stuff. It's kind of hard to buy it now. It's quite good for making toffee. Fur hat, wool gloves. What was that I could see? A zombie? Oh, it's down there. Uh, please wait, saving. Mittens. I suppose this zombie child will be after his mittens, I guess. Or right, no? You're after my brains? Ah. Oh. Hmm. Glove liners fits. Zero encumbrance. Do I have any encumbrance on my hands? Uh, I do actually. What am I wearing on my hands? 
Tactical gloves, I see. Uh, right, yeah. They don't fit very well. Material, Kevlar and leather, so I should be able to reinforce those. Kevlar and plastic. Okay, well, let's kill this child. <laughs> That's not something you say every day, unless you play Cataclysm. Oh shit, what is that? Oh, it's just glass. <laughs> uh, well... Heels? You're wearing high heels. You're a child. Putting a bra as well. I guess it must be a teenage child. Uh, otherwise, that would be a little bit uh, horrible. A uh, giant wasp? Where are you? Giant wasp. Is it in the house that I'm right next to? I oh, don't know. There they are. They're still A's. Uh, okay, I kind of wanted to... I kind of hoped to see more of the triffids over here. But I don't. I want to feast on your fluid sex. Nom 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 nom. Seriously, I'm not seeing any really. Apart from that one uh, vine beast. I don't really see any of them. Well, oop. <laughs> Running back towards a zombie. That's clever. Well, anyway, uh, I think I'll wrap this episode up here, and I see a fungal fighter and a vine beast. So, I may... I've never fought a fungal fighter before. I think that's a new enemy for me. So I think I'll fight that in the next episode. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.